Hello, back again for part two of my stamp storage. Welcome to the Tinker Cards blog and the Tinker Cards video gallery. Right, so this is one of my pieces that I want to go on the front of my cover. I have already prepared the inside, which I sort of stamped using uh, Stamploration stamps and the set I used to stamp these beauties is the vignette modern shapes, retro modern shapes and the graphic squares is just, that's where the stitching is from. Um, I've already stuck it to my piece of chipboard which I just recycled some backing from an envelope. I also got the that's my reverse cover and to show you the inside of the reverse cover, I just stamped there. I'll explain later what I've done for these, so just to see where I'm going with this. And now I'm going to do the front. And for the front I'm going to work with the sketch, with sketch 6 from the Stamploration Challenge blog. And to start off with, what I've did for all of the other cover sides, I've just done what I call some ink pad stamping. And it's just simply swiping your ink pad across your piece of card and pressing it down so you're getting a bit of a mottled background. So you basically it's giving you the sort of background colour. And then you just pop that and you get a few lines in. So it looks a bit old and antique. -y. Right? So that's that. I hope you can see what I'm going with this. And now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some masking. And for that I got some nice sticky tape, sort of purple masking tape from actually a fix it craft it is and this is really good because it's not it's sticky but not overly sticky so I'm just going to put my shape about here so I'm going to have my shape going and then as the sketch says, I'm going to tear some more and it goes a bit like this. And a bit like this. And here. So the sketch also is talking about the sentiment somewhere at the bottom here. I've decided I'm going to put my, my sentiment in here and uh, some words down the mask side and I'm going to not put an extra one in. So what I'm going to do next is getting some stamps out. And for the front cover, I'm just going to randomly stamp some pentagon shapes. And first I'm going to stamp them in the same colour that I used for my back for my ink pad stamping, which is River Rock. It's a retired, a very pale green retired stamping up colour. And I'm just going to stamp them all over. And 
and it doesn't matter if they are not 100% visible because I am after a distressed look and a sort of a bit of an age look and you don't want things showing too clearly in that. Now as you see I can go, I'm going over my masked off areas as well. Just randomly stamping and if you do it with the same colour it gives it a sort of a textured look as if you had some sort of quite expensive paper. So I'll leave it with this colour now and next I'm going to use the same stamp and I'm going to work with my always artichoke ink. Again, I'm not really too worried about it being 100% of a print from the stamping. Right, I'm going to clean my stamp next and then I'm going to stamp the same image in two shades of red because these were the colours that I've been working with for the inside covers and uh, I think they work quite well together. So the reds that I'm using are Stampin' Up colours again. One is Poppy Parade, which is in retired in colour, but it's like a bright red. So whatever red you got, if you want to keep with the same colours, will do. So you need a lighter and a darker shade, basically. That's all that is important. And we'll just stamp them in. So that's the Poppy Parade and the next one I got is Riding Hood Red. Now that's the darker red shade. And with that one I'm trying to get as clear an imprint as I possibly can because I want that to be my main focal colour. I don't know whether you saw that but I'm going over the mask and then I'm slightly trying to rock the stamp so that it stamps up a bit closer to it because I've used a piece of card rather than paper and that's sick and normally uh, it, with any mask it always leaves like a little um, edge so I'm trying to get as close in as I can by rocking the stamp a little bit. Right, so that's done. And 
what I next want to do is I'm getting the Always Artichoke back and I want to blend around the edges a little bit. Now you can use a blending tool if you want to. I just find it if I'm using sort of dark or bold colours, I prefer using a, a dried baby wipe because it gives me a bit more control over the intensity uh, that I'm going to get. And when I'm going to take my masks away, you will see that you're left there with the light um, colour that we started out with. And I'm just going to do some around the edges as well. sure that I've got these fully blended in. Right, and now the big moment of revealing. I'm going to take my masks off and this is what I'm left with. them off here. Put my masking tape in the bin. And just to get this edge a little bit more visible, I'm going to pop my mask back on, align it as well as I can. And use the left, the ink that is left on my, I need to get some, there's not much left, never mind. I'm just, <coughs> oops, sorry, I should have brought a glass of water up. So all I'm doing here now is blending over the edge again a bit to highlight my labelled shape. And next I got my sentiment, or one of the ones. It's something all the crafters need. And it says, keep calm and craft on. Well, I suppose that's what I need to do today, just a little bit of the cough. So I'm just going to stamp that and I'm stamping, I'm going to stamp it in the Always Artichoke colour. Just making sure that my stamp is fully inked up. And I'm stamping that right in the middle here. Just pressing nicely down. Um, just putting the stamp away again. I like to tidy up after myself when I do that. Not too much, of course but I like to keep my stamps to, in the packaging and all together so I know where they are. 
that's that. Now I'm going to stamp in, again in the um, Always Artichoke, some sentiments. And that's from the Stamplerations Vignette Artful Flatter set, which you can see here. And that's got like three butterflies and uh, Imagine, Dream and Belief sentiments. Yep. And I'm going to get the dream out and I'm going to stamp the dream twice. Again, making sure that it's inked up. I find it quite easy as if it helps if you keep it up to the light to see that your stamps are fully inked up. And I'm also making sure that my block hasn't picked up any ink, given that I'm using one that is quite a bit bigger than the actual sentiment. So I'm going to do the dream here. And another one here. that back and then I'm going to do my imagine again I'm wiping the ink off that my block has picked up and the imagine goes in here The next stamp that I'm going to use, the last sentiment that comes with the Artful Flutter set, is the belief. some ink off again that the block is picked up and so I'm going to stop my belief in the bottom one. Okay. Now when I do a sort of covers of books I don't tend to like to put an awful lot of high um, embellishments on because I want to keep them on a shelf and they always, if I put pearls or something like that, it always falls off. So I'd rather keep something um, like a one layer or if I use die cuts, I make sure they stick on flat because then I don't have anything falling off and uh, basically it would be a shame for the work to be spoiled in such a way. I'm just going to put my pentagon back. Them to one side. So that's my front cover. Now I have prepared this here, the one, the inner, the inner side, and I'm just going to get some glue and stick this down. Now, when I put covers on, on anything that I put on chipboard or cardboard, I like to prefer using glue. I find sort of tape sometimes just doesn't do it, and I, also, I want to move them into position and sometimes with tape it's not that easy to do for in, on such big pieces. And I'm going relatively close up to the edge with my glue and make sure that I don't overdo it as I apply it. So 
this. I'm just going to make sure that I've got my cover the right way around. Yes. And I'm going to stick this on now. And this vintage look goes quite nicely with the Keep Calm. Here we go. Right, let's move it out. And what I've done actually before, which I've forgotten to mention, is before I stuck it down, I blended the edges of my card board with the uh, Always Arty Choke ink so that they don't really show you. Yeah, you can see it probably a little bit, but I'm going to go over the edges now again with Always Arty Choke to blend my cover in. So I'm not quite sure whether because as you see on the inside I've put some stitching around as a border whether to do that with the front cover I rather like it the way it is and I think putting some stitching around would just be a bit too busy I'll leave it as it is because I'm quite happy with it so all I need to do is put my glue away put the cap back on otherwise it's going to set so I've got that and now I've got my sutter machine which I've already preset because I've punched all the other um, the inserts out already and the uh, back cover so if I pop that in and then just push it through I better stand up for that so that's done now I'm not going to bind it with the sort of um, binding rings because I need something a bit wider and I've also had to sort of adjust how many uh, inserts I'm putting in um, due to the thickness of the stamps when they are sort of on top of each other. So I'm only going to put seven inserts in and here this is are the, some of the pockets. This is my reverse cover. There you go. And I'm just giving you a bit of an idea because what it's going to look like. I'm just going to pop two rings in, and I'm going to do all six. I'm not bothered but sticking some up there. So that's what it will be. And then in here will be my stamps. And that's it. Now, you've seen how I've done the front. For the inside here, I used the vintage modern shapes. Or the modern, retro modern shapes, sorry. I For the inside here, I used the retro modern shapes. Where you got like these leaf shapes and the circles. And I first stamped the full leaf in the light green, which was the river rock, and then I stamped some over with the always arty choke. Then I stamped the um, full circles in the poppy, and in the darker red, the riding hood red, I stamped the open just the circle, the open circles there, and I just put some over the edges, over the leaves as well, and. Around the edge I used from the Patchwork Frenzy graphic squares, I used the stitching to stamp. And for the inside of my back cover, I've used the Vignette Eclectic Florals. And I used just used one stamp from them to create this. And I stamped the... Um, stamped it in the light green all over and then I just stamped one corner first in the lighter and then in the darker red and again I put the stitch border around it and then for my reverse I used the 
graphic squares and I just stamped them in two reds and then just stamped some stitching around and this I will all fill with binding rings and I shall take some pictures once it's all done and it will be on my blog on Monday. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.